Howdy howdy everybody, it's your boy back at it once again for another day and still kind of sick. Just a little bit though. I um... One thing I did that I didn't use yesterday, I went ahead and I bought some more cold mess and I was trying to like, I was trying to like just not... I was trying to not take it for a couple days and just see how things worked out, see if that like made my, like my body wouldn't be on a crutch so I would get better faster. Turns out that's not how biology works. But as of right now, um, I can swallow. I can talk. <clears throat> Though, I might be a little on the raspy side, so just bear with me on that front. Um, just making sure everything's working. Yep, music, mic. Just trying to, just trying to keep a close eye on my audio. Since at the end of the day, I did change a lot of stuff. I have a lot of new stuff. And... <clears throat> We've been running into some issues, particularly in the um, avenue of uh, good old, good old free, the good old double mouth mode, staying on longer than it should have. <laughs> but yeah, today we'll be getting back to Undertale Yellow, and I'm very excited. I've been very excited for the stream today. I've been having a lot of fun with Undertale Yellow, but yeah. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't use the thing specifically made to cure the thing I'm dealing with. I'm sure it'll pass. Okay, man. Here, but it's not like... In my head. Maybe I'm just wrong. In my head, it feels like it's more used to treat the symptoms... Rather than cure the actual thing. I could be wrong on this. Do, do, do not... Because it's always called, like, cold and flu relief. It's not called cold and flu cure. It's called relief. So I always thought it just dealt with the symptoms and it didn't actually attack the disease itself. That's some conspiracy type thought. How is it getting... I don't feel like... It, like I'm not like that kind of guy. I'm just like uh, thinking like, oh, it just it reduces the symptoms while your body still continues to fight off the thing. Just take the medicine so your body suffers less and can focus on healing. I mean, I suppose that also makes sense. <laughs> but I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be <laughs> conspiracy type kind of thing. Like, go get your go get your fucking shots and shit. That's a from one of the most paranoid, government-aiding people you will ever met. Go get your go get your fucking shots. I only don't get my flu shots because I'm an idiot and forget. <laughs> That's why I do it. <laughs> Uh, all right, <laughs> but but no, like seriously, that was genuinely like how I thought. <laughs> it wasn't like a, oh, it's a scam. I just thought that's how the medicine worked. I just thought that was how the medicine actually functioned. <laughs> I didn't think it was actually attacking it. I figured that was the point of shit, like flu shots and stuff. That that shit, that shit's actually a cure, sort of. I mean. Technically, the flu like updates, like it's it mutates so much that it update that they have to update the vaccine like every year, but still curing like that specific line of the flu. So, yeah, I don't know if I even even have the flu though. This could just be a nasty cold. Though I guess that's just what a flu kind of tends to be, like symptom wise. I guess I don't know. I only ever get things that like. Here's the thing, I have a really good immune system. I really do. I'm not joking. <laughs> My immune system is fucking stupid. The only things that ever consistently, like, hit me are anything involving my stomach. Any, like, gastrointestinal issues. Those, those always fu uh, fuck me up and manage to hit me most frequently. Anything else, I usually just get out unscathed. Like, if there's something going around, there's, like, at least, like, a 90% chance I just don't get it. But if I do get it, that shit is, that shit means business. And you should probably, like, keep yourself, like, masked up or something. Because that shit is going to fuck you up. If it hits me, you need to run. It's very bad. Ugh. Okay. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's switch over to Undertale Yellow. I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy. I need, I need, to, I need to go through the steam works or whatever. Dragon tummy illness hits different. <laughs> uh, that's one way to say it. Um, I do. It is like actually canon that um 
is like actual canon rise lore that my stomach is like hyper efficient and because of that um uh, i can digest like pretty much everything but that probably means my stomach is like really complicated don't mind me i'm having to turn down my headphones a little bit which, <clears throat> Meryl, I don't think you were around for when I was uh, shilling these things yesterday. Bro, these headphones are, like, so good. <laughs> these headphones are, like, actually really good. They got, like, noise cancellation, and, like, I only paid, like, 75 bucks for them. And they're super comfy. Absolute upgrade, exact, absolutely what I was looking for. Hmm. I was about how you take the brand deal and all. Yes, I would. One more. One more. Contact me. Contact me one more. I will. I will shill for you. But I, I should probably shill less. Because otherwise it's going to wind up like Aaron with Wendy's. And you're just not going to do it. Because it's already free advertisement. Uh, and yes, I could digest pavement. <laughs> My body is good at getting energy out of literally anything. Inorganic or organic it's really good at transferring anything into energy okay let's just go i asked about the pavement myself and best i can do is slowly yeah like it, it's definitely easier for me to eat shit that's like trees and uh and you know, meat and shit even though i'm vegan but like i can i like i could eat a mountain and that and that'll satiate me for a bit <laughs> Shoes looking clogged with strange looking plants. That's uh that's one that's one thing to call them. I feel like they should have gone with a different color for that. Just just personally. A pair of cargo jeans is stuck to the table. It's been there for a while. This picture is not getting better. <laughs> this picture is not improving. Doors jam shut, doors jam shut. We love white plants, so well, yes, plants, that is absolutely, that is absolutely what it looks like at a glance. The smell of old unwashed clothes makes you feel queasy. <clears throat> the rat now. You won't take it back now, y'all, though. It's too dark to make anything out. I can't wait for the jump scare. I love not true lab. Music jump scare. <laughs> oh God, it's a bop. Okay, this actually is going hard, though. Oh, cool. Something broke out. Let's get you saved. Oh, bro. The guitar. Oh, dude, they went hard on this one. They went hard on this one. This is nice. This is really nice. <laughs> Come back here. I think I figured it out. Me. I figured it out specifically. You didn't do anything. It's working. Wait, what have you been up to? Oh, I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? You're clearly more capable of problem solving. I suppose you should lead the way from here on out. Just head west from here and we'll eventually reach Hotland eventually. They went to the music producer and said, Hey, can you make core but original? And Full Chest said, Yeah. <laughs> oh, they did a they did a damn good job. They, look, she said go west from here. I thought she meant from the room. All right. Like this is north, ma'am. Steam works. I like that they put a sign there. What luck. Turn the power on and the whole freaking facility goes insane. Yeah, that's kind of how turning the power on works. 
Like that's that's just a thing about electricity and all. <laughs> How about you run ahead and turn this steam off? I think I see a switch over there, so no problem, right? Don't worry, I'll catch up. Gotta focus. That shit. There we go. I almost made it. See? No sweat. I cannot interact with the empty void. More white plants. In quotations. Hello again, not flowy. Just me interacting with this little space of nothing. What are these? Greatness and C. You can't make out the rest. Clearly it means C++, the programming language. It just got turned into C++. You tried an engineering award, Mr. Chujin Ketsukane. He never told me he won an award. I'm proud of him. Decency and Engineering Award, Professor Daniels. Zeroba also has a talk per room if you care for a character. God, I, I'm smart. I, I remember things that happened earlier. What strange plants. I didn't expect something about greenery. Probably went overboard with the chemical experience. Is a monster most likely safe, but for all we know, you may already have a plethora of poisons in your system. I would suggest limiting your breathing from now on. Not enough that you die, but you know, be frugal about it. Excellence in Engineering Award, Dr. Ruther Ford Oscar. It's a fun story about me. Um, I grew up um, not really being able to differentiate my F's and my THs. Hold on. Robot. Axis Model 014 ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted. Steamworks. Eastern Branch. Wait, who are you? Axis Model 014 ready to guard and protect. You just said that. My vocabulary is not expensive, ma'am. Well, I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. If you let us through, we'll be out of your hair. One, I do not have hair. Two, I cannot allow you to pass. You have trespassed on private property. You have also utilized machinery without permission. No, no, we're just heading to Hotland. We aren't malicious in the slightest. It was us who woke up this place. Isn't it nice to have power? While it is nice to be operational again, it is also not nice. I am the last of my kind to police this area. All of my comrades have rusted over. I always knew I was the best, but I am low so lonely now. Oh well. I will now trap you in a cold dark room for watch for which you might perish. My husband, Chujin, used to work here. I have permission. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, she's breaking out the Toho. Chujin, my creator. Huh? Sorry, I do not see him present. Goodbye. Wait. <clears throat> Good thing these cardboard boxes were here. Can't say I was prepared for that. I knew my husband was an engineer, but he never told me about that guy. He'd mentioned robotics, project that could net him a promotion, but he stopped talking about it after he quit his job here. Ugh. I would have used force to bypass Axis, but I'm not sure now. He may be the last remnant of Chujin's talent. Ugh. It would be best if we could just avoid him from now on. In any case, we're pretty lucky he's the only guard bot around. Wait a second. I have an idea. You mentioned how he was lonely, right? Well, what if we fix that? We could use scrap slang around a forge companion for him. He doesn't seem too bright after all. Maybe that's all we need to distract him? What do you think? Yes. Great. It's the best plan I could think of. So, you seem to be in some sort of storage room. Look around for parts we can use, shouldn't take many. <clears throat> Okie dokie. To continue my story. Okay, that was quicker than I thought. Sure. 
Okay, we'll need three more objects. But um, to continue my story, um, I I struggled differentiating my F's and my THs in school for one simple reason. Um, I well, I meant to actually hit no. And the reason I did that was because when I was like growing up, I was told that um, hey, sticking out your tongue as a kid is not okay. You should not do it. But I was told to do my THs, I had to like stick out my tongue a little bit. I was like, well, I was told not to stick out my tongue. So I pronounced all my THs as Fs, and it took me years to actually <laughs> start saying it correctly. But in spite of that, you can still catch me like saying my THs as Fs or vice versa occasionally because of how I did that growing up. <laughs> so yeah. Fun, fun rise lore. All right, let's get the bow. I want to give him. I want to give him the bow. We're so cute, so kawaii. Okay, let's build a robot. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> This is funny. Wait, how far? Why can't I put it so far off? Fine. Took me a while to figure out consonants. Apparently, the downside of being a slime with no vocal organs. Yeah, definitely. Okay, there's that. And finally, the coup de gras. Done. It's simple but recognizable, not bad. I love how the overworld sprite just does not match. <laughs> mm. That's really funny. Mm. Yeah, that was just a little like funny speech quirk of mine. You're kind of creative when push comes to show. I wouldn't call that creative. I would call that a poor excuse of a snowman. Just, it can, um, have electricity. I'll do respect to Chujin's work, but this might just fool Axis. I'll hold on to it for you. They can only make so many bot iterations, one. <laughs> Let's get out of here, yeah. Yeah, it's not like how in Deltarune you could, uh, they had individual parts and shit for all the combinations. The vent has a few loose screws you could finagle it open. Among Us. Let's be extra cautious from now on, okay? I was wondering if I should even make the joke, but I figured I would just say it. And that's that. Wait, another robot? Want a sip of my mop water? It's freshly made. No way, we can't fight this thing. What if Chujin built? You know what, we'll talk later. Let's find a peaceful way around them. I'll do my best to provide defense for us. It smells like poor choices. Jandroid attack 11 defense seven. Hygiene is not in their vocabulary. Want a sip of my mop water? It's freshly made. Or slippery. Oh shit. Oh god, I am not <laughs> I'm not good with that control. I am not good with that controls at all. Brings out their mop over their head. Um Clean? You offer to give Jan Joy to scrub, they seem offended. No you Oh god. Ew, soap! Jan Jandroid finds you too hygienic. Oh, fuck these Jandroids, most miserable grind in genocide. I suppose I'll find out eventually. How much does the beef jerky heal? A convenient store delicacy. You will just eat the fruitcake. There we go.
But uh, that's slippery floor mechanic. Not not a fan. Not a fan of that in the slightest. It takes away control in a way that really isn't fair. The, the floor is lava, travelers. I am sorry to say I failed the game some time ago. However, you do not have to. I will ferry you across the lake. Bzzzt. The spot doesn't seem malicious. So that's new. I say we give it a go. Thank you for your trust. With my help, the floor will not be lava. It will just be floor. Ugh. Did you know that manta rays are no longer called manta rays anymore? Apparently it was a science thing. Like a redefinitioning. Or just like new information in regards to manta rays. I forget what the new name is though, because everybody is going to keep calling them manta rays. Like, come on. Yeah, you know, hold on. There was something over there on the bottom that I could have gone and saw. So we're gonna backtrack. What about stingrays? Um, I don't think they were in the video I watched. Or maybe they were. A poster of a smiling monster with a slogan above them. Tomorrow means the surface. see here. Hello? Looking at that clock in this room gives me one-shot vibes, not gonna lie. Tick-tock, tick-tock. The current time is 626 Monday morning. You may have noticed the apple trees outside the steamworks are blooming. That means spring is upon us. This time of year, my creator recommends a picnic by the river just south of here. I'm surprised I can do voices. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Now we actually make progress. Actually, I'm curious about what's up there. Hold on. <laughs> we do a moderate amount of backtracking. Just a little bit. Bro is not synced up at all. I, mean, I thought it would be a little cool, but also if it was my uh, time zone, but also that would kind of be a dox. So I guess that's why they didn't do it. Granted, I, I'm very transparent that I'm in the Eastern time zone. Thomas Papers, I hand her in letter to King Asgore. This project, while exciting, will not be will be quite the undertaking. I will need mining code to work overtime to provide the necessary materials. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. There already are many great robot ideas flowing about. Cooking, cleaning, recreation, the motivation is through the roof. However, one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection mod. I'm quite unsure about the proposition, but you have the final say. In any case, we will see this completed. Professor Z. I have not been hold up. I have not been taught. Uh, talking to Soroba. Man, this place is huge. I think the government ought to repurpose all Savannah's acreage. I've heard that new home is becoming overpopulated. Throw up some suburbs here or something. That would solve it. Maybe drain the lake of deadly liquid first, though. Okay, now we're now we're good. <laughs> now we'll advance. I promise. Progress is happening. I wish I could shortcut by hitting up. I've heard of piggybacking on to get ahead, but yeah, this is weird. Again? Well, best get on with it. Watch your step. Alright, yeah, that was my bad. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm very good at video games, I promise. That was all right. That was just me being bad. I got impatient. Doesn't help. I've gotten really good at avoiding this, though, so I'm kind of just brute forcing it.
Sorobo was fast. <sighs> I totally know where that is. The time loss ain't worth it, man. <laughs> I don't know. I feel it's worth it. Also, Uno... Uno... Uno Vivers. There we go. Thank you for the follow. Welcome... Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Dragon's Gash Valley. My name's Rise, and I've been playing Undertale Yellow for a little bit. Good to see ya. <laughs> uh, hope you've been enjoying yourself and hope you have a good time. Fox Mom, yeah. <laughs> Sorob is a very nice character. I've been enjoying her a lot. I've been enjoying the game a lot. <laughs> hope you have a good time, though. <laughs> God, it's been so long since I had another follower. I kind of got thrown off. <laughs> Holy shit, a duck. I can't interact with the duck. This game sucks. <laughs> I have no idea where that, like, gate opened up. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. Hmm. Um... It took me a while, but Fox me... Mom grew on me. <laughs> uh, in, in, in some scenarios, I think I might prefer that other one. Some, maybe. I know what I said last stream, but maybe my mind has changed. Maybe I just need more exposure. I think there's science behind that or something. I don't know. So, so why the fuck was this gate? So that leads to the clock. I will bend to the clock. <laughs> Imagine Sorobo's like 7'2", this tone lady and her husband Chujin is like 5'6", twink man. <laughs> right up, left up. From where? From the duck? Was that from the duck, Merle? I need, I need a landmark. I need to calibrate myself. <laughs> uh. Also, uh, Uno, I will say, um, just in case, no spoilers, I am going to, into this relatively blind, and I'm trying to speedrun it for, um, before YouTube spoilers get me, so yeah, just keep that in mind, please. Also, how, hey, welcome in, Cece. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> hmm. I voiced in a VN reading live stream. Oh, that's nice. What uh, VN was it? I swear to God, it was Sai no Uta. <laughs> Genshin Impact Thermogenesis. Ah. Uh, let's see here, right? I wish I knew when Merle typed that. Oh wait, I found it. I played Genshin for the first time, it wasn't terrible. I have yet to play the Genshin. And I don't think I will, because I'm worried I will spend money. You have reached your destination, Bzz. Thanks for the help. Let's keep moving, Clover. If you need another ride, I'll be here. Okay, so this is progression, so let's go back. <laughs> See, you got it. <laughs> I do want to say go up and left from the first platform you hit. Let's see here. I need lore. Also, is uh, Soroba, is Fox Mom saying anything? I mean, all this junk is a bit of a maze, huh? Even uh, unintentionally, monsters can't help but leave puzzles behind. There is already Undertale Yellow AUs. That makes sense. Given I was literally part of the AU community, <laughs> I know the I know the um, fandom's propensities. Mine was a Kirby Undertale AU called Underpuff. <laughs> Up and left on the Manta. I don't know why the fuck I did that. And Christ the Soroba do good when Underfell's core. Oh yeah, you can make a hell of an Underfell design with Soroba. Now that I look at her. Also, hello there. Slurp, slurp. Ah, nothing like Steamworks Boba Soup TM to fuel the engine. What? Don't act like you've never heard of it. Ugh. 
This whole thing's just a Panera Bread strawberry lemonade. That meme is still relevant, right? <laughs> but man, all I'm saying is I was very proud of when I wound up um, making that joke during my Rain World stream, okay? During Saint. <laughs> I thought that was very creative. Bam! It's your boy, Mo. How did I get here? I got contacts, right? Eyes all over the ground. And contacts on my eyes. Enough chit chat though, it's business time. As you know, I'm always scouting around for the next big thing, right? Right. So, I was on my way here and spotted a bunch of glowy plants on a wall. They looked a little sus, I won't lie. First thought that's brought to mind, taste them. And I'll tell you what, the stuff hit me like wham! Best cuisine you'll ever experience, truly. Uh, you got something. I ain't done with the pitch yet, miss. This is important. But, like I was saying, thanks, more like please. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it, the sound effects aren't working. Shit. Uh, that is gonna be a lot funnier. That's supposed to be significantly funnier. Hold on, run it back. Run it back real quick. Wait, is audio Mimi working? I'm not sure if Audio Mimi is working. I've never actually seen the scene in Pacifist LOL. <laughs> I cannot, I genuinely cannot tell if my uh, sound effects are working. We can hear it, you can hear it, alright. I'm struggling to hear it. Just a little bit. <laughs> Probably gonna say I have my volume turned down, because by god Undertale Yellow is loud. It is very loud. <laughs> Uh, this joke fell flat on its face. Let's just keep going. <laughs> like I was saying, plants? More like please. I even molded them in the recognizable food shapes for that visual appeal. Visual appeal is half the battle, I say. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is... <laughs> what are those plants do to you, buddy? Ain't nobody gonna buy a product if it looks ugly, right? But you would. I know it. Old Mo can count on your business. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Do you need to go to the Goodwill? Never better. <laughs> now where's my sand? Plant. Buy plant. I swear. <laughs> Just <laughs> with how fucking amateur the stand looked. <laughs> On top of <laughs> just it you just see plant by plant dies. <laughs> uh do I even have a sense of humor? Some days I question it. I have a few products left in my pocket. Don't go yet. <laughs> Here's what I got. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, moss salad, grassy fries, flower stew. Let's go with grassy fries. Appreciate it. <laughs> Pacing in neutral is funnier, but the Soroba concern is just as good. I didn't know, um, I didn't know neutral was different enough to have different pacing. Meryl, would you recommend doing neutral or genocide after I complete pacifist? That's a genuine question. I'm curious what you think. I was planning on going straight to genocide. But if neutral has enough differences like that, I'll give it a shot to you in after this instead. I'm still open for business. Take a look. You're leaving. My products are high quality. I swear. Come on, pal. I'm broke. I'm a broke ass bitch. A guy. 100% neutral. I can't say anything, but please play neutral. Gotcha. Take a ride. Will do. I will make sure to play neutral. And then. No, I want to go this way. We will just, um, how, I don't think it should be easy if it's anything like normal Undertale, 
it isn't too easy to slip into genocide on accident as if I just attack everything that I encounter normally. I know you had to go out of your way in Undertale, but I just want to make sure the balance is, like, there, you know? Here he comes. Escaped convict spotted. Steamworks office branch. Oh no, run. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, fuck, 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 fuck. Saroba. Saroba. Stay here while I get the tall lady. Do not touch anything. I try, I tried to shimmy around the corner. The system is a bit different in Undertale Yellow, but it's pro pro probably harder technically, gotcha. A highly competitive game of chessers was played here. L you poo Look, man, I was trying I was trying to take the corner fast, okay? I was trying to do those speedrun strats. I was, I was trying to I was trying to use those high tech corner cuts, you know? Was, I was trying to no clip. It was a speedrun strat. You just didn't know. You just didn't know. And I it's very intimate kept to my chest knowledge, you know? Not how it's done, you're not how it's done. All right, let's see here. Scribbles and doodles of surprising quality lie on the table. You wish you could draw that well. <laughs> now you have no chicks. <laughs> That's the incorrect usage of the emote, CC. By the way, um, yeah, we have a new emote. <laughs> the the Riz ear is real now. I finished that emote. <laughs> so now y'all can use it for whatever sick purposes you may have in mind, at least in my stream. <laughs> Uh, I'm the one with the Riz now. But do you have two mouths, CC? I, I have a buff, buff in that buff regard. Buff. Just That's love the, the double mouths. mouths. Okay, okay, anyway. So I'm, I'm, I'm like keeping a close eye on my OBS sources to make sure that stays switched off. <laughs> I have two voices. I got all kinds of voices. Did you not hear Mo? <laughs> Your table scare on the table seems to be an unfinished proposal for security camera installation. Have you seen my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Just getting that with no context whatsoever. <laughs> Have you seen my wife? <laughs> Goes up the room. Have you seen my wife? <laughs> Trash can. A portable coolant dispenser. Handy. The security station would be useful to track roaming robots if there were any cameras in the steam works. The mummified remains of an abandoned pizza party. Not even you are brave enough to try a slice. Us among. Oh, it's Dal's broom's wife, I guess. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Drift. Go, 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 go. Enough running. You have the ability to cooperate, or are you toying with me on purpose? Either way, I'm starting to really hate you. Hmm. New strategies will must be developed. Robots suck at cornering. It's just like Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> it's literally just, literally, robots suck at cornering. They can't corner very well. <laughs> and I just use that against them. Corner's like a dream. <laughs> hmm. Oh, what the fuck is the FNAF, this FNAF reference room? <laughs> this is a movement check and you just barely pass? Yeah. <laughs> Clover, the lockers, the lockers, follow me. Ugh. <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. 
Why are you tired? I've been the one that got caught twice. You got plenty of time to rest. My husband, my husband was one hell of an engineer. I just wonder why he kept all this from me. He could have let me some sort of off switch, right? The robot. I totally forgot about our plan. Sorry, next time we see Axis, we'll try it for sure. <laughs> ah, hello. Found you. I'm very good at video. Ah, oh, shit. They were coming from all directions. He's leading his shots. That's cheating. Enemies in video games aren't supposed to lead their shots. Stop it. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. <laughs> Looks like he's go... Harry. <laughs> Axis, hold on a second. One. <laughs> uh, one million seconds. I do not have the knowledge to count that high. What is this about? I have a surprise for you. A special one. I will admit, you have my attention. Proceed. I have for you, your very own robot companion. A sleek top-of-the-line model. Aren't they beautiful? No. Not in the mood. My eyes are only set on your apprehension. Goodbye. You're making them cry, Axis. Come on now. Robots cannot cry. I have tried. Goodbye. Well, it was worth a shot. Plan C it is. Dead. I am immobile. If you went with our surprise, it wouldn't have gotten messy. Do not mock my judgment. I will return to capture you. With new hands. <laughs> I loved good slapstick. <laughs> I'm spent. Next chair we see, I'm taking a breather. You got a breather? <laughs> For fuck's sake. I haven't talked to you. When I'm older, I think I'll write a memoir. Name a chapter, the time I pissed off a robot tried to kill me. They'll recount our great escape that happened to you. Reveal my genius locker trick. I advise the reader to be in shape before pissing off robots. Seriously, I canceled my gym membership last year. Lots of regret. <laughs> Axis number one hater, we love him for it. Oh, I love him. I'm loving Axis. He's a riot. Well, there we go. Definitely what we need after that madness. Waiter! I wonder what Starlo's up to right now. Probably on some feisty five quest with a smile on his face. I do envy him to be wrapped in optimism and fantasy. Most might act cheerful, but life down here? It's hopeless. That's why they look to the king for assurance. They believe once he gets seven souls and breaks the barrier, he'll easily be able to overthrow whatever awaits on the surface. A rather foolish outlook, if you ask me. Who knows how the humans have prepared for retaliation since then. But I digress. We should handle our own problems first. I can't imagine what Conoco's going through right now. You haven't seen my Conoco yet, have you? Here, take a look. Doll. She a cutie. Look at that smile. Definitely her father's. Gifted like her father, too. She's a... Uh... She didn't deserve this life. I truly wish things could be different. But that's not what fate had planned. I apologize for my vagueness. What a nice mask, too. Yeah. Um... Sh I know we saw it. I know we've seen that mask. I kind of forget where, though. Was Saroba wearing it? I don't fully remember. I prefer to keep the bad memories to myself. Anyway, the lab shouldn't be horribly far from here. We will get to the bottom of this, Clover. In the meantime, you can scout ahead. I'm going to rest a bit longer. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. Vendi model system boots scanning customer. Unauthorized child detected go away. <laughs> Gravity granola, this will kill you. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Tastes like plastic. We'll blind you. Oh yes, I will gladly dispense your garbage. Hand it over. Please stop. 
<laughs> Code line 327. If customers determine unauthorized, treat them with utmost disrespect so they will not buy up the company's snacks. My disrespectful state was initiated when I scanned your dull face. Bringing a Steamworks employee ID next time to experience hospitable mode. Until then, you may still purchase items, but I will tear apart your self-esteem while you do so. Loser. Why, 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 why? <laughs> what about it? The Steamworks are only the finest in monster science and engineering. No big deal or anything. Structures built from the toughest steel and the greatest mines sure to stand the test of several millennia. Searching for a more advanced facility would be like searching for the corner of a circle. With quality machines such as myself at every turn, lives are improved every day. Mm. The steam works. Tomorrow means the surface. I am not propaganda machine. My creator made sure I specify that. Searching for Axis in the database. Axis, latest model 014, is a robot built to act as a royal god. Production goal? Create an army of Axis god box to protect monster kind from humanity. Production status? Discontinue. That is all of the information I have on this robot. If I were to be helpful, which I will not be, I will tell you. I would ask an ad. I would tell you to ask an engineer in the back three wing for more information. I'm sending a clip about this robot later. Please do. Just so long as it doesn't have any spoilers or stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Where's the factory wing? I cannot tell you. You are unauthorized. Not that I trust you to find it on your own, since you are, in fact, an idiot. My snacks are up to the highest teamwork standards. I ensure the employees designated mealtimes are as enjoyable as possible. Because of my popularity, I often run out of inventory to which my creator restocks every Monday at 8. That reminds me, my last boot up yesterday was a Sunday. Dr. R.O. should be stopping by any minute now. I simply cannot wait. None of that is your business now, is it? <sighs> yes, bye. Thanks for nothing. Alrighty, let's do a save. Get a sip. Hmm. <clears throat> Hold up, I gotta text someone. It's actually important. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sorry about that, my mom was calling me and getting worried. Because of the snow and shit, and I don't think I've really called her since then. Which is kind of my bad. <laughs> <sighs> Steam W Commons. Watch it, Clover. We don't want to alert any outsiders, especially workers under Asgore like the UGPS. Your mail will have to wait. But... I ordered a package from Amazon. It's my one more Sonaflow headphones with noise cancellation and plush ear pads for only $75. Also, genuinely, I love so much of the robot characterization in the Steamworks. They're built very much like people, but with a lot of limitations that are circumstantial, and even th through that, they still stretch those limits here and there. Oh, yeah, how they've written the robots is, like, really, really good. <laughs> I'm really enjoying that every one of the robot characters. Howdy! Boy, am I glad that fox lady let you roam free for a bit. Not being able to talk to my pal has been torture. Now, I know she roped in some lab detour, but come on. Captive monsters? Talk about a conspiracy nut. I mean, it's like you don't want to follow my advice. Remember your real mission, Clover. The five children you set out to find in the first place. There's no need to visit that dingy lab, you know. Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. Keep your head in the game. This is our journey, not Soroba's. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey, wait up. Uh -huh. I think I'm ready to get back into things. Lead the way. Don't be... Okay, thank God. It was not the fucking janitor one. Uh, Gusik has come to share some sounds. Attack 12, defense 8, music drives the mood. Louder, louder, louder. Oh god, it's fucking with my headphones. I hate this. I genuinely hate this. I hate mono. Why would you do this to me? 
Oh my god. I hate mono. Keep your headphones on for this one, folks. Uh, don't. Take them off. Uh. Needle. You move Ghost of Neo to a new calmer record. Wait, I. Oh? Music being spinning in circles. Let's see here, vibe. You close your eyes and tap your foot to the music. Gusik joins you. This is nice. There we go. Gusik is lost in the music. Ugh. <sighs> oi, oi, oi. Stuck on mobile, but I can still tell when it switches. God. <laughs> Dude, I will never... This is, like, one of my pet peeves with, like, any music in, like, anything ever. I cannot fucking stand when anything goes mono for any reason. Ever. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why does it... Who thinks that this sounds good? Who thinks that this sounds good? I need to know. I need to find these people, and I need to strangle them for having shit taste. Because mono drives me fucking insane. Anyways, it's almost time for an ad break. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Y'all go ahead, get some drinks, get some water, get some snacks, use the bathroom, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And we're going to be back in just a minute. Does instrument panning count? Um, I'm not sure. Just whenever it's like super, super fucking obvious. That, like, the thing is only coming from one ear and exclusively one ear will drive me up a wall. Like, it's just incredibly obvious. If it's, like, if there's, like, other instruments, then, yeah, it becomes less of an issue. But if it's, like, if it's, like, say you just have a guitar and it's, like, -na 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 on the left end, -na 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 on the right and like, there's nothing else there. I want to kill you. Anyways, yeah, y'all go ahead, have a good break, and we'll be back in just a Sorry. minute. Fuck mono.
Welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a good break while we were gone. I just kind of got up, stretched, drank some water, looked at Twitter, drank more water. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. <laughs> uh, hope you all are feeling good, though. Let's go ahead and let's see what Sorova says. I appreciate them putting handrails here. Sure, we'd be suspended over a bomb. Sure, we're suspended over a bombless pit, but hey, making baby steps towards basic safety measures. All right, let's see here. More steam. Fantastic. <laughs> One more time, Clover. You got this. Don't blow all your money on the summer sale. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I still had the protection from earlier. That's actually really cool. That is a nice detail. Damn it. Roll. Roll an unusual punishment. Roll an unusual punishment. That was just me being stupid. I take full responsibility for that one. There we go. <sighs> then don't get punished. I'll do what I want. <laughs> and that is brute forcing my way through everything. Shit, bro. We go into Silvalum from Xenoblade X. Let's go. Holy. What happened here? I hope this stuff is okay to touch. I love the planet Mira. <laughs> okay, but like seriously, dude. Silvalum is my favorite region from Xenoblade X. Oblivio is pretty damn close. Oblivio is close, but like uh, Silvalum takes the cake. Silvalum is so goddamn pretty. Like since I know I'm like one of the, the 0.5 people on this planet that has actually managed to since I know I'm like one of the 0.5 people on this planet that's like actually managed to um play uh Xenoblade X. Let me pull up a picture of Silvalum real quick. Xenoblade X. Is X the one with the guns? Yes, X is the one with guns. Also welcome in Cringe Ninja. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> uh I'm so happy when my friends show up to stream. Yeah, Silva, um, Xenoblade X is the one we pay played at Michael's once. Not new Michael, old Michael. I have to specify that with you. Okay, let me find a good picture of Silvalum. A lot of these are not the most flattering shots. Thank you for showing me every goddamn enemy in the game. Alright, come on. Where's some good Xenoblade at? Where are some good shots? This is a good shot. This is a really good shot. Okay, hold up. I got this. I was passed the fuck out. Otherwise, I'd have been here sooner. I'm at work right now. Oh, uh, dude. Like, I, I, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of stream, but we actually... I actually almost... Um, <laughs> I almost slept through stream. For, through streams start time i was fucking exhausted i've been sleeping like shit because of my sore throat like i am waking up like an actual fucking zombie and i've been having nightmares too because of it i think and just like i took a fat fucking nap earlier and like when i woke up it was six o'clock and i was like oh boy this is what we're doing today cool <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that was me. That was me today, so I feel you a lot. Okay. I'm showing y'all Silvalum. Because Silvalum fucks. There's that. There we go. Like, it, it's like a snowy kind of area, but it's like made out of like spores. And it's really fucking pretty. I really, uh, I love Silvalum. It's so, it's so pretty. And it's even better at night. Let me see if they have a night picture. Because at night, like, the entire place, like, lights up and glows. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hold up. Hold up. If y'all, like, 
if I had to give a presentation on a game for an hour and I had five minutes to prep, I would pick Xenoblade X. I saw a tweet about that recently. I was wondering like what it would be. I thought Chibi Robo, but now I'm like, no, it'd be Xenoblade. Look at that. Everything's like glowing and it's so pretty, it's so cool. And also uh, when this uh, red aurora is active, um, everything wants to kill you. Everything. <laughs> but mmm, mmm. I love Silvalum. I love Silvalum a lot. Also, there's a super boss in that really big sphere. <laughs> the one on the left, I mean the right. On the big sphere on the right, there's a super boss in there. <laughs> Which is uh, actually a, um, a creature that inspired a lot of my design a good chunk of it it's the it's the mo, mo the biggest thing it contributed is the chest cavity but yeah i looked to that one a lot for some inspiration cuz i love that thing it's an egrolith it's an egrolith called farsis the everqueen it's the second strongest enemy in the game by level okay let's delete this let's actually get back to undertale Xenoblade X we can do another time. You peer into the box and find a bucket of nails. Take them. You got nails. Are they nine inches? Small pointed pieces of steel. Could be quite effective if fired at a high, high velocity. Bro, we're literally making a nail gun. You load nails into your gun. <laughs> Surely this is not going to affect the barrel or anything about the gun in an adverse way in any universe <laughs> clearly the thing will just be fine just gotta take it apart give it a good uh, give it a good spit shine after the fact it'll be all right <laughs> air sites of plants sit within several containers the smell is unnatural what's this dried up fountain lies before you it doesn't look remotely operational anymore a grown over robot they're much more silent than they're used to a grown over robot could use a good cleaning. Two, science division. Employees have reported the generator is showing more wear than ever. The engineers predict the machine won't last longer than one year from now. I need you to speed up the testing of alternate power sources. The underground depends on it. Head office. A grown over robot, you can almost make a face out on its screen. To head office, more tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately be best for Monster Kind yet. However, the chemistry lab did have a breakthrough regarding a white plant. I'll get back to you on that once further testing has commenced. Science revision. In other nudes, have y'all ever heard of Xenoblade X? It reminds me of that. Exposed wires on their back. <laughs> Grabs exposed nerve. <laughs> yeah. To head office. I think we've got it. The white plants have proven to be able to generate electricity at a fantastic rate. That's not good. I got rubber cowboy boots, right? The only issues are that they grow four times faster than normal flora, and once their power is drained, they will wilt into a dark, sticky substance. If this is green lit, we will need a new division to tend to these plants, otherwise, working conditions will suffer greatly. Science division. <sighs> Grown over robot, this one looks like it could cut you. Grown over robot, you notice a small hat resting on top of it. The plan should suffice as a temporary solution. I've heard one of our top scientists is working toward a new compound. One made from special energy, it may be the key we need. Much more time is necessary to develop it properly. However, as for the proposed greenhouse division, I have an idea. Cheaper, more efficient, and trustworthy. I'll send you some blueprints shortly. Thank you for your time research, head office. Rolled up blueprints lie in a box. You take a look. I did not look at them. <laughs> there we go. Gardener. We're gonna fight the fucking gardener. The greenhouse guy. Take the tiny robot's hat. It wouldn't let me. I would have otherwise. Nothing of interest here. Gardener. You're inside. Nothing of interest. Everything's of interest. That's why you let me interact with it. Except for that, apparently. That one has no interest. Grassy fries. I got two things of grassy fries now. Whoops. Everything's fine. 
sure everything's fine. I'm sure that there's going to be no consequences for that. Gravity granola. It'll do. Oh, damn. They just force you on this one. What was that? You step on the plant. <laughs> but, man. Hear me out. Hear me out, man. When I played Kirby's Dream Land 3, I was, I was really good at the missions where you don't crush the flowers. I was, I was really good at that, okay? I am... Um, I care, it's just... Sometimes things are hard. I care. All the heart stars I got, prove it. Disturb the flora. I ask you to please have more respect. We apologize, won't happen again. Do not worry. Seeing the... Seeing that the child is so young is forgivable. I will report the incident as a level 3... 10 offense. Level 10 means the termination of the trampler. Hold on. Farewell. Oh boy. I'm stuck, Clover. We need to find a way out of this fast. I have incapacitated your options. I ask you to cooperate with me. This is going lovely already. This is a bit of a bop, I won't lie. So. Accept your offense, Trampler. I'm about to die. You must learn that plant life is important, more important than you. Is this a bad time to tell him that I'm vegan? Okay. So good at a video game. Talk about lethal. Maybe try getting your offense level lower. Alright, let's try again. Alright, I think the better strategy is to get my items undone first. Gardener waters your cage. Time to get a taste of the flowers. I need myself a good salad. You must learn that plant life is important. Great hostility is blossoming. If it's any consolation, this is the one boss that I, that I died to the entire game, barring some obvious stuff. Gotcha. His attacks are just really fast. I right, use the beef jerky. You are a handful. I'm going to count to three. Shit. Oh, God. One. Stop destroying yourself. Stop hitting yourself. All right, we can act. Two. Not bluffing. Crap. Uh. Maybe we shouldn't eat the grassy fries. Could call call it call it Anj. Three, calling back up. You called for help, gardener. Correct. This trampler does not value the greenhouse. What is the offense level, miss? 10, termination. Level 10? I mean, of course. We are sorry, offender. Gardener says you deserve termination. They know. I just said that. So, attack, right. 
This is only getting worse. Don't stop your efforts to free us. This is why I should never play Toho. Huh? <laughs> The little guys. Traps offenders for easy apprehension. Please stay in your confines. Crap, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh, dude. We're gonna take up this entire section of the stream. All right. All right, we'll start with items. Getting better. The panic makes you move into the bullets all patterns. Yeah, I know. Not the best at it. Yield, I will call for backup. That one I got down pretty well. Fit. Damn it, I was prepared for it, but it still didn't matter. There we go. There's Mercy. Undertale Yellow loving its debris batter. I mean, debris bullets. Get all my shit undone first. Crap. I tried using the uh, the slow movement, seeing if that would help me, maybe. With that one. I love the little guys. Damn it, fuck. We're gonna be here for a bit. I lost my- I lost the one thing people come to me for, Epic Gaming. <laughs> this is why I stick to Rain World. In Rain World, I just get really lucky and it looks like I'm good at the video game. Breaking news. Local vegan can kill a plant. Shut the fuck up, Cringe Ninja. <laughs> I'm working on it. This motherfucker's gonna be a salad. Though technically it's a robot. So that's gonna be a very crunchy salad, but it's okay. It's not sentient, I think. And also, this is a pacifist route, so the point isn't to kill it anyways. Sentient enough to kick your ass. So is a hydraulic press. How about I put you under one next? Huh? Hmm. Alright, I didn't, I didn't get hit on the backswing at least. Got 
god. Beef jerky. There you go. And now for a dialogue that is slightly difficult to skip. Chit chit. There we go. Yeah, three things undone. Please stay in your confines. Bit. I know this one. There we go. Uh, please stay in your confines. Ah! Don't get hit on the backswing. Don't get fucked. We're gonna eat the granola. I'm getting better at the patterns. Can I, can I get this one more? This one's like really easy. <laughs> This one's really easy. I like this one. There we go. Way to go. I'll do what I can to help us escape for good. Cleverly done. You have gained my respect, but you have not gained my mercy. Bots attack. Fuck. That's a brutal one. Thank you for your help. No problem, Gardener. Yeah, give us a call anytime. Even just to hang out or something. Or not. It's no pro it's no <laughs> Okay. Gonna have to gonna have to eat the slider. Just you and I again. It is too bad I cannot grow tired for you, that is. Yes, more of this one, more of this one, more of this one, more of this one. I like this one. Starting to think you've had your fill of plants. <laughs> um, shh, gather. I'm here for the attack. Oh, you missed it. Seriously, man. Hey, it's okay. Here, a flyer to chew you up. Thanks. Mind if I get attack a little? By all means. I love him. Oh God! <laughs> He back and eat. He don't fight. He don't fight. He don't fight. <laughs> he kind of fucked you up. Yeah, he did. Uh, I'm worried about eight. Little dude came strapped. He really did. 3S. Oh, the speed. I thought it would heal me a little. I'm gonna die. Somehow I'm not dead. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, come on. All right, plead. Fence level lowered. After that, the head office will give you an award. Excellence in ruining Gardner's Day. Deserved. All right, that one I've got a little more unlock. 
Give it in already. By all means, please keep doing this one. This one's easy. Lead. Give in already. Yes, keep doing this one. Me like this one. This one not kill me. Never mind. Apparently the hitbox on that leg was bigger than I thought. Is it stuck on this one? I'm not complaining, it's just slightly lame. You use you use rationale in hopes of de-escalating the de-escalating the situation. You you offense level lowered. Oh. What happened? There seems to be a gap in my memory core. I am sorry. I think that did the trick. You're pretty clever in intense situations. I'm impressed. Uh, <laughs> uh clever. Yeah. That's what it is. Clever. And that, that's me. I, I'm I'm Mr. Witty. Sending level three report. Response negative. I apologize. Allow me to call again. Sending level three report. Hello, creator. Are you there? I believe my creator may be playing a practical joke on me. Signaling Steamworks head office. The line you are contacting has been disconnected. Where is everybody? Oh, I have allowed immense overgrowth. I understand. It seems my day has passed. Cancel report and reinitiate hibernation. I am sorry for inconveniencing you. I do not know what the world is like now, nor do I wish to. Life was much better. Not knowing. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Why have I stepped on the flowers after that? Wouldn't that be a dick move or what? Save it for genocide. Gardener? <laughs> uh. That was the most challenging fight by far, definitely. I don't know what that did. Ah! Uh, also, I think the little guys are in the first room. Now, I need to go see them. I need to go see them now. I want to see the little guys. I, the little guys. I want to I wanna meet them. I want to meet them. I want plushies of them. I'm going to sew in front of their faces. I don't think this is what you meant. Also, how's my gold? 82. Feel things may only grow more complicated for me or keep your head high, Clover. Bye. Get the safety goggles. Item use. It looks like it has eyes now. Oh, I wish we had sprites. What do you mean by first room, Meryl? Like of the lab area? I don't want to crush more flowers, though. First white plant room, okay, hold up. Damn it! Nope, <laughs> not dealing with that, fuck that. <laughs> not, no, you can, you can take me, you can take me off that newsletter, you can take me off your list. Get my email the fuck off of there, cause I don't wanna see shit. Where are they? I need... You're not here. I want to see- I want to see the little guy who was fucking strapped. Okay, that is my B. It's after Steamworks is cleared. Alright. <laughs> Unfortunate. 
me had to step on a flower. I don't like the look he's given me. Can't live with or without one another. I live life in a glorious standard definition just to end it all. Bro, it's just a TV run. Bro, like, you see this man, this thing with like these huge ass arms and legs and giving you that look with his arms like outstretched, like he's about to grab your ass, like no. <laughs> Get away from me, bad touch, bad touch. Will it hit the corner? I see a Mon. You see a Mon? You see a Pokemon in this? I don't. I see somebody who looks like they're on a list. I see a monster. Uh oh. <laughs> you know what? No. What, what's really doing it is that he's completely immobile. Minus his face. Just like minus his face, nothing else is moving on him. He's completely static. God fucking damn it, Undertale. Yo, that was clever. I mean, I, if that was intentional, I'm going to pretend it was. That that made me that made me chuckle inside. That made me chuckle in my soul. Well, hey, I don't know what the rest of that was. Kelly starts to sing an anime opening Viz Bexer to stop. Check this out. I'll admit this is a good one. Crap. Hope you enjoyed the program. I earned 25 gold off of that. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Two paths. Hold on. That symbol, I've seen it on Chujin's work uniform. Let me try one of his codes. Nope. Ugh. Well, I only have one left, but I've already used it. Here goes. Seriously, same code as the Dunes Gate? This kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. And then the music just cuts right back. And it cuts right back off. Oh, hey. Hello? Rusted through. Sign says if the receptionist is unreceptive, check with the robot control station three floors up. Robot control station. Clover, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Axis? Exactly. If there's some sort of breaker box for all robots in the area, we can shut Axis down and get to Hotland as planned. It's worth an investigation at least. Let's go. Go all healed up too. A roboception is frozen in time and holds an expression of melancholy. Hello, not true lab. What did I just press? What am I creating? Smiley face. Good morning, Steamworks employees! Hope you're ready for another day of road productivity! Today, we are boxing and shipping goods out into the underground! Soroba just fucking bails. <laughs> are you sentient or a pre-recording? Hello, new hire! Yes, I am fully sentient! Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all eternity! Alright. Can you unlock all the doors in this factory? We're in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called... Trolling. 
Earn your freedom! Complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way! What kind of policy is that? When there's a quota to meet, ethics go out the window! Haven't you worked a job before? Of course, but I don't work here. So you're trespassing! In that case, fine, we'll do the job. Clover, this spot might have connections to access. Seems we gotta do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. You can work this thing, right? Push the start button and we'll get it over with. What are you doing? Put red items in red boxes and blue in blue boxes. Three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. Second conveyor belt doesn't move. No. Yes, it's bro. No. Screw this. Clover, you box the goods and I'll toss them into the chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. Let's give it a shot. I guess if it's junk, it's just junk. I feel like I shouldn't have started off with a blue piece of junk, you know? Shit. We barely made it. <laughs> and my keyboard didn't register that one Z press. Alright, good work, Clover. On to whatever awaits us next. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Average Amazon work day. <laughs> we need to ask Thornlock slash Kaiju about that. Fun! Hello again! The shipment is almost complete! One final step and you will have the passcode to exit! All you have to do is... <laughs> mm. Somehow this isn't hurting my throat. But it is straining like my vocal cords. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right, by tilting the platform left or right. Pretty obvious. Look who paid attention learning colors in preschool. Not by choice. I'll take the drop shoot up top. You man the platform. Good, good. Ready? Here goes nothing. Oh shit, I'm supposed to tilt, actually tilt it. I think it's glitched. I think I glitched it. <laughs> Whoops. Undertale Yellow de Devs, watch my stream and fix your game. back down great job everyone you can't spell steamworks without teamwork can't spell it without steak either but that has absolutely no bearing on this situation would you like a pizza party instead <laughs> let's see how you did calculating oh you barely scraped by but that's what performance reports are for hey it isn't our fault this system is so impractical why does it take two giant steps to ship a few packages why can't we sort the colors when boxing them in the first room? Beats me! You know, for being built by such great minds, the Steamworks are awfully convoluted. It takes a massive IQ to understand the complexities of Steamworks. Your brain probably isn't advanced enough. In other news, have you watched Rick and Morty? This is the wall-mounted GIF comprised of three pixels. You know what? You can take your little passcode and... Just 
give us the cut. That was adorable. <laughs> that was adorable. I really like the dynamic between Clover and Soroba. This is really cute. I like that a lot. <laughs> of course, the passcode is 8334. Got it? 8334. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little brighter. What a nice dynamic they have. What do you know, Meryl? Don't that actually tell me, but... More trash jerky, let's go. Eight, three, three, fuck. Eight, three, three, four. Also, I haven't talked to her in a bit. Not the greatest working conditions from what I can see. I know the job paid well, though. Of course, after Chujin left, we needed a new source of income. I picked up a part-time shift at Cafe Dune to help us raise Kanako. The job was alright, but my boss was... Let's just say there's currently a strike going on there. <laughs> Metalworks Emergency Escape Plan, or MEEP. <laughs> Man, I'd be pissed waiting years for my Steamworks package and it shows up out of nowhere one day. <laughs> yes. I didn't even think about that. Literally just like they, they, this entire place has just been shut down. Like they they refunded everybody who didn't get their packages, but they were still in the plant. And you just wake up one day and like you're fucking like tube TV finally ships out, but you've like been upgraded to an HD for so long or something. That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. Brand, I don't think the underground would be upgraded HDTVs quite yet. Maybe. Okay, someone sets the room on fire. Do not use the elevator. Evacuate down to floor one or use a passcode to access floor three. Me when I ordered a figure from Country Roll and it didn't show up in the expected four months, so I just gave up hope. And then three years later, it arrived. Bro! What the fuck? What figure was it? Now I'm curious. What figure did you get off Crunchyroll? I didn't even know Crunchyroll sold figures. Mm. What the actual fuck? <laughs> Bro, it would suck if like you didn't like live at that house anymore either, wherever it got shipped. You're really lucky you still live there. <laughs> uh and if anything ever shows up to uh my place. Um I lived at the same house for a good many years, so we moved a couple years later. So yeah, you lucked out a lot. You lucked out a lot, a lot, dude. That actually that reminds me of time. It, it's not shipping related, but just like a really convenient like time frame of circumstances. So at one point, um, my accounts on like multiple platforms got compromised because one. I was an idiot and like use the exact same like password on like literally everything. And I had to go around and like reset all my shit and stuff. And that included like my Google. However, um, wait, oh, I'm thinking about the thing further. Okay. No, no, no. It wasn't that part. It wasn't that section. What it was, was I had switched my phone number because I had accidentally given my phone number to some place that like made me get a bunch of spam calls, which I didn't do have before. It was annoying as fuck. So I changed my phone number. However, I forgot to change my two factor authentication on like all of the fucking accounts I had. So luckily, a lot of them were able to like. I was able to like get through. However, if I needed to do that, I needed to get into my Google account, which is where our issues arise. <laughs> so <laughs> I, if I can't get into my Google account, I'm going to have to reset fucking everything. Thankfully, my old phone on the old family plan we had was still in service because it was a contract with Verizon that my mom had signed on to. And like literally... That plan was about to go out in like a couple of months. Maybe less than that. 
So like, I just incredibly lucked out on that contract not having terminated yet. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to use that backup phone to bypass the two-factor on my Google account. That allowed me to bypass it on, like, everything else. And I managed to bypass it on everything else. The only issue, the only, like, account I think I was not able to access, which really sucked at the time, was my Tumblr. Which, if you know me from back then, like Meryl does, you know that includes my Underpuff Tumblr. <laughs> I have not been able to access the Underpuff Tumblr in goddamn ages because of this. So it has been completely dormant. Same with my art Tumblr. I moved to Twitter by this point, so it wasn't a big deal. But, like, yeah, like, if I've ever been sent anything on there, I have not seen it and I never will see it. <laughs> because I cannot get back into my Tumblr because it does not have a means to, like, sort of slink around the two-factor a little bit, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's stuck like that. <sighs> Anyways, evacuate down to floor one or use a passcode to access floor three. Uh huh. They really locked this place up tight. Well, if the code was found nearby on the first floor, let's take a look around. There you are. No way. Sorry. Hold on, I accidentally pressed my Windows key shit. There we go. You seriously want to do this again? Yes. <clears throat> Remember the explosion that incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. Look, at some point you need to give shush. Do not resist arrest any longer. Stand still and let my handsome hands shine. Shoot. Psst, Clover, this way. My vision. Initiating 16 volt super flashlight. 95% of power utilized. Typography box hindered. What do you mean? Oh. This is most un. This is bad. <laughs> oh well. Unlike them, I have eyes. Okay. We need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. There's gotta be. Hello again! <clears throat> Whatever are you two doing? As I was saying, there's got to be a code around here. Once you find it, head for the exit. 60G sits abandoned in the machine. Take it. You got 60G. Don't forget you can run. Large collection of familiar stones. Unfortunately, nothing in the pile catches your eye. The machine wants to use for sharpening gold ore and coins. It doesn't seem functional. A two O oh. C four. Oh, let me write this down somewhere. Cheating! That's cheating! I lucked out, but that's cheating! <laughs> Motherfucker! That's not how you're supposed to play the game! <sighs> okay. B4. 
two. I seem to remember that one. You were on the brink of death. The world around you frozen in time, yet the Reaper flowed through towards you like a never-ending chill, pierced by his handsome hands. B two D one. Two. B two. Okay, let's head upstairs before Axis. Hello! <laughs> You're on the brink of death. The world around you froze in time, yet the Reaper flowed towards you like a never-ending chill, perished by his handsome hands. <laughs> the fact that you included the handsome hands, too. <laughs> I thought you were quoting some game, but, like, the handsome hands, like... Man thought that up on the spot. Seriously, though, why didn't I die there? Was that a glitch? Was that a glitch? Can he not get you when you're in menu? Axis. Just the bottom is looking for. How are you doing these days? Not so good. I could only speak in 15 characters. Max, back there. It kind of bummed me out. Menus be crazy, apparently. <laughs> I hope somebody clipped that. <laughs> that was neat. Glad you got your full speech ability back. Thank you, I do like talking. Wait, wait. Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security of the Steamworks? Yes, I am the security expert. Why is it that some doors require a passcode to unlock and others require a Steamworks ID? Two-factor authentication. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How? <laughs> is this man in my microphone? What the fuck? <laughs> we literally were just talking about that. We literally were just talking about 2 FA. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. That that's not creepy at all. Huh? <laughs> cool. Workstations. Okay, well, probably another code to find. You know the drill. Uh, is there jerky in here? She neatly typed bullet points, slice crumble in the trash. You stash in your mailbag. Ugh. Help our bot guidelines. One, every manufactured bot must have a practical function to solve the purpose for being clean, cooking, cleaning, agriculture, etc. Bots should have tiers of emotion to better integrate into society. Find a personal line to each one is recommended. It makes them more personal, easy to be around. All bots have to have a strong connection with living things. Their creators, average monsters, other bots, etc. If deprived of this, it may become easily agitated and restless. Others may be unfazed. Depends on the model. If a bot acts out, line or malfunctions, they are shut down. Typically, a hard reset will do the trick. Termination is the last resort. If shutdown is impossible, they can be coaxed back to their normal state. Absolutely no bots are allowed outside the Steamworks at this time until King Asgore is ready to begin mass production. This project is classified. Most of all, have fun. Idoki. Saving time. Yeah. Chat. Feels like we might be delving into some classified info up here. They sure abandoned a lot. An old PC sitting on two desktops. The image on the screen gives you a nostalgic feeling. That's supposed to be the Windows XP background, but... Evening. I don't know. You are awestruck by the absolute pipe pandemonium on display. How do they do it? <laughs> okay, this is a good part for us to go ahead and stop for just a brief moment. <laughs> Windows XP, but K. Oh! That makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. That's clever. I like that. <laughs> Okay, it is time for another ad break, so you all go ahead and take a good little break for a bit, get some water, get some snacks, do whatever y'all humans need to do, and we gonna be back in just a minute. So with that being said, bye for now.
Look at this man. Look at this dude not being affected by ads. Thinks he's hot shit. Can you just get away with this? Has an ad blocker installed because he doesn't want to be a fucking consumer. And he doesn't want to have to pay money to avoid that. Like a financially responsible person. What a goddamn menace. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I hope you all had a good break. I just shoved a lozenge into my mouth. It shouldn't come off on mic, but if it does, I apologize. Hmm. Don't tempt me, I'll sub. Oh no, money. <laughs> Two, uh, the 250 a month for me. <laughs> for me specifically. <laughs> for you, it's five. For me, it's 250, because it's a 50 50 split for subs. <laughs> the only do if you fucking want to, you dumbass bitch. <laughs> Trying to be nice to me and shit. I don't know how to take kindness. All I know is how to how to be a sarcastic asshole. <laughs> mm. Regardless, hope everybody had a good time. <laughs> uh, let us continue our trek. The note on the powered off PC reads: "The future is bright. Hang in there." The PC was not bright, however. Many sticky notes are posted around the smashed in PC. We've, rep we've replaced your computer six times now. Just please just control your temper. It's just solitaire. Can I interact with the chair? The desk chair seems to be growing a substance you'd rather stay away from. Uh, there's a hole in the ground. Downsizing imminent, but definitely not for the employee who's reading this. You're doing a great job. <laughs> How to cushion the blow. Must be the manager's office. Clearly, I had access to all passcodes. Let's check those file cabinets. Hold on, look here. Performance reports for all factory employees. A, B. One sixteen twenty XX. Mr. Chujin pitched his blueprints for a guard bot of sorts. He called the project Axis. 31920XX, IX Model 1 was presented to King Zat. Asgore was swiftly rejected. The poor thing couldn't stay powered up for more than six seconds. 51020XX, Axis Model 04 backfired and shot one of its gloves at the king. This is getting embarrassing. Refused to enter the throne room. Asgore gave Chujin one more shot after incessant pleading. I know he's a smart engineer, but if the next showcase goes south, Well, this is it. Model 08 booted up and seemed to be stable for a moment. That was until a malfunction occurred and sparks began to emit from the body. In the chaos, one spark leapt onto King's Asgore's flower bed. A fire ignited but was swiftly put out. Please leave. Leave and do not return. Know this deep down. I know you do. Access is the solution you need. The solution I need is a reliable one. One that won't set fire to our homes. This is about my... It isn't. I thank you for your service to society. But I'm afraid Monster Kind's freedom belongs in more capable hands. Capable hands, he says. Look at Axis now, the true realization of Chujin's vision. He far exceeds any model Asgore ever saw. And you know who the, those capable hands now belong to? The scientist who is Konica, Dr. Alphys. A while back, she built a robot too. One so lifelike, it got her a position she has now. It must have been real impressive. So impressive that Asgore kicked the other visionaries to the curb. I understand now why Chujin never shared this with me. He must have been absolutely gutted hearing those words. Screw the royals. The politics, all the red tape. This clover is why the mission is so important. You can't trust these closed-minded gatekeepers to do anything right. Not for a second. Let's go. Dusty filing cabinets filled with employee records. The lap day desk with several ripped up notes strewn about. Among the notes, it's a piece of paper with one thing written on it. How do I tell them? 
Please elevate your pass code 6543. Richter B. Oni. Engineering Certificate XX20XX. <laughs> the lab day desk. Ba ba ba. And what was it? 6543. That's easier for me to remember. Hello, I welcome you into my body. Wherever would you like you to go? Top floor. Did you say basement? Get us to the roof, out of here, whatever. I carry a negative opinion of you. Heading to out of here. Player for all the outbursts, all of this is, it's a lot to process. But you're pretty tired of learning about me, so. What about you? You're not exactly a talker, so I don't know much. Why are you here in the first place? Did you simply trip and fall into the underground? Clover's sitting on the floor of a decrepit elevator. <laughs> he sit. He sit. He's he he city boy. Actually, he's the furthest thing from a city boy. Five humans. You wanted to find out what happened to those kids. A noble mission. Takes guts. I'm assuming you haven't found them yet, though. We have to arrive at out of here. Well, uh, better get moving. Damn it. I see Jandroid and I want to flee immediately. I'll ne you, I will never take out the trash you can't make me. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate everything about it. I hate everything about this. Everything about this is awful. Every single goddamn thing. Get me out! Get me out! Oh my god. Literally awful. So adventures had chair twists and turns. If I knew I was getting myself into back in that saloon, I'd probably still do it. Dangerous stuff like this is kind of fun. Um Matt, how much we get into a bad fight. I was about to panic. <laughs> Guessing this is our ticket out of here. Just have to, uh, why don't you take a stab at it? Technology and I don't exactly mix well. Daunting array of screens and buttons lie before you. You press one of the buttons. Box control status functioning at 78%. Awaiting input. Main directory. AO games? Features blocked. Custom message. Trying to play video games on the job. Please report to the head of office. We have a pink colored gift for you. Pictures. Robotics control. <laughs> Settings. Not yet. Docs. Uh, Ultra Turbo Core, Graphics Card Air, Air could not complete task. Just kidding. Emergency shutdown complete. I hope that worked. It's at it's unfortunate access had to end up this way. Maybe I should know. I wish Chujin's product could fry, but line has to be drawn. Can't dwell on the past any longer. Let's go. I need a save point. There we go. Thank you. Spot some gravity granola inside the machine. Take it. Gravity granola. 
Let's save again. I'm sure Flowey loves this. He won't get tired of my voice, will he? It looked like she just got fucking crushed. <laughs> it looks like Soroba just fucking died. I'm gonna try to blast a hole in this thing. It's gonna take a lot to break through, and to think we were almost free of this place. Look around for a switcher keypad, there's always one near doors. Main power source not found, initiating emergency backup power. What was that? Did I just hear Axis? Human, you tried to shut me down. I have had it with you and your friend thwarting my plans. I am this close to directing all my steam into my rude finger. And yes, I am yelling. My typography box just lacks the exclamation point character. A shame, but at least I have question marks. <laughs> yeah. Outwit, maybe. Outgun, never. I am ticked off and out of non-lethal options. So prepare yourself, I am attacking now. Wit, my programming is preventing me from an attack. It says you are not a current threat or resisting arrest. Ugh, forget this. Here, I will make you a threat. Hold this, it suits you. There, now you have a drawn weapon. Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? Now, time to die. Thirteen and twelve. Today means the surface. What are you doing with that lid? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating. You don't know how. Dude, this fu- This is a bop. Dude, I can't wait to listen to the OST of this game. I cannot wait, because, oh, this is going hard. It almost sounds like a crowd cheering. I don't know how to describe that one sound, but mm, I, love, I love shit like that. Undershirt repeatedly in hopes to beat off the heat your effort fails. Oh god, death by metal and magic. That one is hard. That's easier. There we go. <clears throat> God, I can't wait for me to have a dancing emote. <laughs> I, I have one in the works, kind of. I've sent out a commission request for an animated dance emote. <laughs> so we're gonna have one, I promise. It will, however, be sub only, but oh well, them's the breaks. <laughs> this is not a word. Please tell me it's not Wiggly. It is not Wiggly. It is not Wiggly. It is something entirely unique. At least that's something I've seen. Let me just say, um... This hair would suit itself well for a windmill headbang. That's it. Also, um, speaking of which... The whole sound effect's breaking every time. Axis pinches the end of one of his gloves and releases the air. He finds it amusing. You ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits? God bless, I was in a VC with a couple of our friends. We were complaining about every VTuber having the same generic emote since so Dude, literally, literally, me. Literally exactly my issue. So many VTubers have the exact same fucking emotes and I'm sick of it. This is why, like, I've gone, like, this is why I've had more unique shit for mine. Like, the least unique thing is the, um, is the Fumo. That's the least unique thing. But, like, outside of that, like, I haven't seen anybody have, like, that. I haven't seen anybody have something like that. In the style of DD's little thing. 
And while there's certainly things with this general idea in mind, I don't see that around much either. And that one I did completely myself. Hmm. Bro, why has the Fuma Redeem not been working? I don't understand. It should be working. Hold on. Fumo's on off. Bruh. What the fuck? Wait. Hold on, let me try this now. I think I know what was causing the issue. Okay, yeah, I know what I know what happened. So every time I um so I haven't connected the um text to speech for a little rye to VTube Studio. But every time it constantly tries to connect itself to it. Which is not what I want. I don't want it to connect itself to it, because I don't I'm not using it in VTube Studio. But it keeps attempting it. So I, but I never go and I actually deny the request for it to access VTube Studio. So that makes it so the redeems like don't go through. But I think that's, I think that's the issue. So I'll have to make sure to deny that from this point forward. They do stand out, yeah. Meanwhile, whenever I get to mine, I'm forced to be creative. Yeah, you are because of how your, um, is how your de design is. And that's kind of, a, that's another thing. Like, my design, like, I can do a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit I feel like you could do with, like, the double mouths and eyes and the different forms. There's a lot of creativity there for me to, like, use. And I want to use that in my emotes. I already, I have used it in my emotes. I've used it with Guh. I've used it with Razir. And... Like, literally, like, the Fumos are the only thing that, like, don't, that are, like, a little more unoriginal. But I commissioned them from Kana, and Kana my friend, so I don't fucking care. But yeah, like, literally all VTubers have, like, the same fucking emotes, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> and, like, even if you are going to do, like, generic stuff like, oh, a VTuber holding a heart or something, like, I guess have a more, like, creative flair with it somehow because you can do the same idea in different ways like I did with the roses on mine I don't know man it makes me upset as does it Merle anyways what the fuck were we doing we were playing a game or some stupid shit I forgot you ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits I prefer this. Uh, you feel the furnace's heat waves engulf you. Scrutinize. You tell Access he's not great at his job. If he could frown, he would. Oh god. He's using Kamehameha! Damn it. Alright. <laughs> I might just end up with shit like... <laughs> I might just end like uh, end up with shit like all of that, bro. One of the emotes doesn't even show up on like one of my chats, <laughs> uh, and I have Frank and I have Franker face and TT and better TTV enabled, <laughs> so I don't even know what all tribe mark is. Regardless, yeah, those are solid emotes. Just anything that's not the generic shit. Anything that's just not generic. I really try not to be generic. I do my best to not be generic. That's a big thing I try for with my content. I don't just want to be... I don't want to, like, see a trend and, like, immediately, like, edit, go for it, you know? I want something a little more unique. Am I the most unique thing in the world? No, I'm not. I'm still learning. And, and there is the issue of time, so I can't do all of the things I want. But I really do try my best to, like, be as unique as a creator, as I am capable of in my current circumstances. But I'm doing a good job of that, uh, I don't know. That's for y'all to decide. Uh, I look away for half a second and you die. Here's some of my top emotes, hold on. <laughs> Those are pretty good ones. <laughs> 
I lost my sub to the rat, so I don't have his emotes, but I, but I enjoy his where he shakes a rat around. <laughs> it's funny. Literally just a moderately shocked Markiplier face cropped. I gotcha. Ugh. But yeah, like, I, I do my best to, like, stick out as much as I can. I can't stick out the most, because I have a job and, and school, so I can't do everything. But I do try my best. Uh, I'm playing this game so well. Brace. Alright, here we are. I got I got a rhythm on that one. All right, now we're cooking. I got a good rhythm on that one. There we are. All right. This is trippy for me. That one's trippy because the direction effectively switches when you rotate. We got this. Just give it time. All right, I really didn't have a good shot there. <laughs> there we go. Did again how wait this is your doing of course is do not shock me again okay All right I prefer being on the ground The air thickens rise the air thickens too Take an opportunity to heal. Beef jerky. I'm starting to regret giving you that lid. Could you please drop it? Just kick it into the fiery pit below us. Simple. Oh god, it's the steam. I trained for this moment my entire life because I am lazy. I'm glad that one was quick. That is enough. Unbeknownst to you, I brought a backup plan. Portable generators, infinite battery. Good luck. Clover, I'm almost through. Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. Keep it up until he's out of juice. Um, I can hear you. You two think you are so smart. Ha, I do not run on juice. In fact, I do not run at all. I roll, obviously. Thinks this music is a bit intense, intense for his tastes. Okay. Brace again. Ugh. 
Smells like an unfortunate barbecue. Gravity granola. Oh god, this is trippy. This is trippy as fuck. Axis pinches the end of one of his gloves and releases the air he finds it amusing. Rusty shield. Seriously? I am reaching unheard levels of ticked. Level 7 at least, it's your fault. Oh god. Fuck. Oh crap. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die, guys. We're gonna have to go again. Three shots. Noted. The, the circle one is really trippy. Because if I'm on the bottom, well, suddenly the directions are consistent with my keyboard. That's one thing that's kind of unfortunate with this game. They have a lot of cool mechanics, but this it's just like... Alright, that's what I get for criticizing. Understood. But no, like, the game has a lot of cool mechanics that they try to implement. But it's not always, like, done in the best way. Like, with that circle thing, like, that's a cool mechanic. It's just, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around when you like when you're like looping around you know finally brace why don't you use the other options to make him angrier faster does it work does he actually get angrier faster hold on we'll actually try that out i lost my rhythm on that attack especially because i was talking during it don't mind me just making excuses it doesn't actually make him ticked off faster I assume it does not give you options to do nothing. You don't understand how Undertale works, <laughs> unfortunately. Sometimes you just gotta wait it out. There we go. All right, time for the weird one. Damn it. Saved by the bell on that attack. I saw that ball coming for you. I know. <laughs> Just trying to wait it out. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was kind of like, damned if I do, damned if I don't. really focusing now. Oh, 
Okay. Fuck. What I feel it should do is if you let your fingers off the keys, it reorients itself to whatever the direction now is. I feel I would make that mechanic a lot nicer. Because when I was on the bottom and I saw that one coming, I tried to hit right, and that one sent me, like, the other direction. So if I had some kind of, like, system to determine, like, is it right side up or right side down? Then it would, like, reorient it. Cope died zero times. I'm so Look, man. I'm just good with my player experience. And my player experience says that when I'm on the bottom and I want to go right and then I go left, not the best. want to do that i'm gonna die yeah <laughs> i wanted to heal and i mashed z too much i am liking this boss fight though there's just some things about it jerky this time. I think I found a way to cheat that <laughs> on accident. So what I did, I was holding down because I'm stupid, <laughs> but it counted that as moving. <laughs> So that's a valid strategy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny that I accidentally found that. God damn it. God damn it. Shit. Is it even possible to get back over there? Okay, now it's the generators. Uh, 
I did a lot better on that attack this time. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Bruh. Oh, the rotation one, dude. <laughs> the rotation one is brutal. <laughs> Uh, shut up, Ellie. You're not playing it. Also, welcome to stream. You beautiful bastard. Love you. Also, fuck you. Uh, uh, your trusty shield. Once again. Uh, hope you're doing all right. I've been dying to Axis many times. I got this one on lock. I got that attack on a lock, dude. That one's nothing. Almost. We're kind of going to go into gamer mode for this one, I'm not going to lie. So don't expect me to talk much. I was trying to do my trick. <laughs> I was trying to do my trick. <laughs> it works, by the way. It still works. I can bullshit it. Something about how that one moves.
God. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can do it, man. I know I can. No, no, Ellie, here's the thing with the turning one. I know which way to turn, but the controls that occur, like left will, ex le let me put it like this. Left is exclusively counterclockwise, right is exclusively counterclockwise. When I'm on top, that makes perfect sense. When I am on top, that makes perfect sense and nothing is like going haywire in my brain. However, when I need to switch directions on the bottom and I see something coming at me from what I'm perceiving as my left, I hit left. However, the direction I needed to go was ca was clockwise, not counterclockwise. So I'm trying to go left. I'm trying to block it. But because of how the controls are, yeah, controls are flipped, exactly. So it fucks me up in my head. Brain blow? Yeah. Essentially, that's what's going on here. But maybe if I think about it as counterclockwise and clockwise, I might think about it better. Flip the controller over. I think that's going to be a little hard to do, buddy. In the middle of that. Like, no, I know what direction to go. It's just the controls are fighting me. Maybe you don't stop until you're back until you're back on the top. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna try to think clockwise, counterclockwise, and clockwise instead. Maybe I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to do that actually. What if you just flip your hand around during those instances? I would have to literally in an instant flip my entire keyboard. Or flip it while I'm pressing the buttons. <laughs> I can give it a shot for the memes. <laughs> I'll give it a shot for the memes, but that's about it. All right, I have my keyboard picked up. <laughs> uh, we'll see if this works. This is not working. This is not working whatsoever. Nope. <laughs> if only we had, if only I wasn't a VTuber, y'all would have seen that. This is where his brain explodes. <laughs> It already has blown up. Do I even have a brain at this point? Now, see, when I get hit there, that feels like a skill issue on my part. After how many deaths do I say to put me on parsec for this? No, I can, I, I can do it. I know I can do it. I know it's possible. Cause I've gotten far. Put a death counter up. I will. The, has anybody been keeping track of how many times I've died? Out of curiosity. <laughs> has anyone been keeping track of that? Do we want to just say 10? Just play it safe. I 
I'll say like six. I have died more than six times. I have absolutely died more than six times. I do not need to be, I do not need to question that. Let's go eight. I feel like eight is a good number. What font do we want, guys? Bodoni MT Black. We'll go with Bodoni MT Black, regular. That's a, that's a, the font of all time. What color do we want? Arial? No, we're not doing Arial. We're not basic. What color do we want? A loud as fuck magenta. I'll we'll just have it. Let's have it take up like right there. <laughs> we'll just put it right there. <laughs> that's the death counter. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that trick I found absolutely does work, and that is fucking hilarious. That is so funny that I accidentally found an exploit like that. God damn it. I will die to this. Yeah. <laughs> react, don't anticipate, react, don't anticipate. That's what I need to... I'm, I like, I'm anticipating instead of reacting, and I really need to fix that. Especially if I'm gonna do genocide. That attack sucks ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, that one just sucks. I'm on 10. My bad. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for reminding me to actually use the death counter.
Throw more shit at me. Streamer's gone quiet. Game time has been activated. Exactly. Damn it. Oh, I had a really bad flow there. 11. I need to get really good because the next ad's coming up. We don't end stream until we beat Axis. I'm saying that right now. Until we beat Axis, we are not ending stream. I schmooed through that one. Damn it. Uh, the ad pop up distracted me a lot. All right, let's bump this thing up to 11. We're just going to take a quick break. Y'all go ahead, stretch, get some food, get some snacks, do whatever y'all need to do. And we're just going to be back in just a minute. <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, bye for now.
Howdy, everybody. We are back, and we're just going to get right into it. I hope everybody had a good break. A good time to just rest my mind. Let's kick this robot's ass. There should not be a minus there. Okay, now let's kick this robot's ass. That one was bullshit. I figured out that attack. Screw you. 
go good job holding your own while i was occupied exit seems pretty days just one more shock to do him in let's end this i get some prayers in chat God, holy shit, holy shit, bro. <laughs> oh, why are we rising? <laughs> why are you rising, cringe? Oh, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever emo to get out. Our issues, my issues, holy shit. Oh my God. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Ah. Uh, what did you do to me? I don't feel in utter murderous rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. I suppose I will stare you blankly until you do something. Plan B. Of course. Hey, Axis. What? How do you feel about second dates? Like a calendar? Look at her. Look at that hourglass figure. Look at that absolute dump truck of an ass. <laughs> uh, that chest of hers is loud and proud. Mwah. Perfection. This feeling. That absolute dump of an ass, exactly. <laughs> the literal dumpy. <laughs> the literal dumpy. <laughs> Soulmate located. Perfection personified. Where has this beauty been all my life? Holy. The shimmer, the complexion, the curves. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Clover, let's uh let's wrap this up. Oh my god, it's done. Holy shit, this is the hardest fight I've had to deal with. It's a motion, it feels so nice. I must thank you for opening my eyes. Uh can I get some can I get some Rizziers in chat? For this suave bastard. I had no idea such wondrous sights existed. Glad we could finally reach a level of civility. Can I keep them? <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Here. He is not suave, he is hard. Same difference. <laughs> you want to know a secret? Yes, I would like to know a secret. They told me that they like you, but will only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? Ask what their name is or something. Okay. Alright, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? 
Haha, <laughs> you are so funny. Want to get married? <laughs> That's a reaction image. Hold on. I'm screenshotting that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use that eventually. Hopefully. Uh, all right. Save that. It's going in the folder. Uh. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> you, who are you reacting this to? Don't worry about it. It'll come up eventually. One day. In a meme or something. Remember what we talked about? They said yes. What? <laughs> I am honestly just as surprised as you. This rocks. <laughs> okay, then I'm happy for you. Well, not to rain on the parade, but Clover and I have to go. Go where? Hotland, just a business trip. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey then. <laughs> Backup battery extremely low, please recharge. Oh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but added hated human and hatted human and tall lady to authorized list. There. Now I will not attempt apprehension next time we meet. Thank you, Axis. You have a good life. I will try. Added human and tall lady to authorize the list. You said your husband was my creator? Would you tell him that I miss him? He was always very kind to me. I... Yeah, I'll tell him. Thank you. Goodbye. That's it. I gotta say, that was a pretty entertaining. Uh, about that. Glad we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. I don't know why I doubted. Right. I see your exit up ahead. We're close. Please? Holy shit. Let's not venture off the path. I've had enough of Steamworks for today. There it is, Hotland Elevator. We actually made it. Let's hope this elevator works. Next stop, the lab. And what are you planning to do at the lab? Starlo, what, what are you doing here? The gang and I were planning a return party for you. Thought it was a great idea, especially Conoco. That's very kind of you. Yeah, well, we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. Ed, what did you find while cleaning? Uh, I was sweeping the floor and I spotted something. An almost invisible trapdoor, an entrance. Saroba, what's actually going on here? What really happened to Conoco? Why? This can't... Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up. Why did you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. I have to go. Clover, come on. Saroba. Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch. I'll chase after her. Right. No, please. Progression. My progression. No. I don't want to go back through Steamworks. Please. Let me be. No. I'm back to <laughs> Ugh. I'm never traveling via laundry chute again. Ed, you're back. And Clover, too? I was worried sick about you. Where's Star? Saroba ran away, so he chased after her. Alone? Why'd you let him do that? Star knows Saroba more than anyone, more, eh? Well, I'm not so sure of that anymore. Clover. Moray messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Why do you get feathers involved, Moray? I just thought she deserved to know. She can help. Martlet. <laughs> Meryl could be having like the worst goddamn day of their life, but you show them a picture of Martlet and they're gonna perk up immediately. <laughs> I heard that you found something in Saroba's old house. What was it? We didn't have the time to look over everything closely, but... It raised some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belonging to Chujin. All way too scientific for me. 
Clover and I can scope it out. No way. I was told to keep Clover here. There's potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. I'm not that simple, but the idea is there. Fine, just stay on track. I can't have them running away or nothing. You know the way? I believe so. Okay, we'll meet you there. You still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then, come on, Clover. Hey, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Saroba take you. I just... I really thought I could trust her. We all did. What I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what? Doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concerns regarding Chujin, he said. Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. I'll let you lead. Just head to Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. This is going to be redundant, but I'm sorry for all the apologies. It feels like I'll, I've done since we met a screw up. I'm thankful that you're tough and, you know, not dead, but I shouldn't have been so scatterbrained in the first place. That changes here, whatever awaits, I'll do my best to help. Time to save for next stream. You think it's best to save for next stream? I was kind of going to get to whatever the next area is, then save. Otherwise, there's another couple hours. Alrighty, I'll take your advice. <sighs> I will take your advice. Merle. And we will save things for next time. Go ahead, just close that up. Turn music back on. And now we are in the chatting section. Finally. Hello, everybody. Alrighty. Let's find us somebody to raid. A little bit unfortunate timing, but it's better this way elsewise. Gotcha. Uh, I will take your word for it. Ms. Mamurl. Alrighty, let's see who we can raid. Uh, let's see here. I say... You know what? I don't raid him enough. Let's go ahead and raid, uh, Dead Sun. Dead Sun's a super cool guy. He has a lot of impressive, like, model stuff that he has on his channel. He does some, like, uh, 3D modeling streams and a lot of Fortnite, but, like, the sheer, like, production quality that goes into his streams is, like, so goddamn impressive, and he's absolutely worth y'all's time, so I'm gonna have us raid him. Let me just get things set up for that. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, as for tomorrow, we're going to be doing a Yomi Hustle with good old Merle right there in chat. Um... Ideally, me and them are going to be doing a little bit of a practice session after stream uh, in a bit so I can get to grips with the game a bit better before we actually have that collab tomorrow. It's going to be at 8 instead of uh, 7, so don't expect me at 7 p.m. tomorrow, EST. It's going to be 8, but yeah, outside of all that, this was a really fun stream today. I was glad to actually be able to speak and make jokes and do voices. Turns out Cold Medicine is really damn good for that. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah <clears throat> outside of that as far as next week is concerned might see about collabs but i'm not too sure about that we're definitely gonna have more undertale yellow and more art though so i look forward to that y'all look forward to that but yeah outside of that y'all have a good day wherever a good day night afternoon wherever you are whatever the fuck y'all are doing and y'all have a good one <laughs>